Today, for our math strategies video, we're going to be making a 10 to subtract. So we'll be subtracting in parts that allow us to make a 10, and then we're going to subtract the other part to find the difference. Okay, we're going to be using 10 frames and a number path. We're also going to be counting on and counting back. Okay, so remember, in making a 10, we're making, we're, we're making a friendly number in order to help us understand our subtraction. So let's go ahead and get started with our first problem. 16 minus 9. So in order to solve this, one thing that I can do is I can make a 10 to subtract. Okay. So again, I'm going to start with my 16 and I'm going to find it on the number line. Okay. And then I'm going to find 10 on my number line. Okay. And I know if I go from 16 all the way to 10, I've made a jump of 6. Okay. Okay, I've made a jump of six. Now, I know that I need to make a jump of three more in order to find my answer because six and three are number partners of nine. So if I make a jump of three, one, two, three, I get to seven. Okay, so I know that 16 minus nine can give me seven because I use that friendly number of 10 to help me, okay? Now, we can also count on to subtract and still make that 10. Erase my figures here, okay? And again, if I'm going from 16 minus nine, this time I'm gonna start with a number nine, okay? And I know I need to get up to 16. So in order to make that number, I know I need to make one jump, okay? To make 10. And then I know I need to make a jump of 6 to get to 16. So 1 plus 6 gives me 7. So again, the difference would be 7. Okay? So now we're going to switch gears just a little bit, and we're going to use a 10 frame to make a 10 to subtract. And I think making a 10 frame is a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and take a look at this 10 frame. So this 10 frame is going to help us answer the problem 14 minus 6, okay? So I have 14 here on my 10 frame, and I know that because I have one 10 frame filled up, and then I have 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have one 10 and four ones, which gives me 14, okay? So now I'm going to take away the 4, okay, which leaves me with 10. Okay, so I know in order to take away the total of six, I have to take away two more, okay, which gives, which leaves me with eight, and I know it's eight because I have one, one row filled up here, which is five, six, seven, eight. So 14 minus six gives me eight. I can also do the reverse. I could start with six and count up to 14. One, two, three, four. Four gives me 10. And then I know I need to get to 14. So one, two, three, four. And four plus four is eight. And so I know that the difference between these two numbers is eight. So there, here are some strategies that we can use to subtract. Remember, you can use a number path. You can use a 10 frames in order to make that 10. Um, you can also count on and count back.